Hello, my name is Brian Coward. I'm the EDM product line manager for Makino. And today we're going to be talking about wire EDM machines. So there are two different sizes of the UX. We have the UX3 and the UX6. Um, you can see them there in the picture. Let's go over some of the highlights. So what is the UX uh, wire EDM machines? You may be familiar with our U-Series machine. The UX is built uh, on the same platform as the U-Series uh, with some improved features. So it's the latest evolution in our U-Series. Um, some of the highlights of the differences would be the wire uh, guide system. So the UX has the Hyperdrive Extreme wire guide system, which is the same wire guide system that is on our U6 Heat Extreme our U3i, U6i, our U32j, U53j, and our UP6 heat. Those are all higher end machines that are currently in the lineup of Makino. So we've taken that system and applied it to uh, our base machine. In addition, uh, in the past we had a U3, U6, U3 heat, U6 heat. So the standard U3 did not have the heat technology. For the UX product line, heat technology is standard on the machine. So there's no difference between, uh, there's no UX heat. UX has heat already on it. So what's different about the Hyperdrive Extreme guide system? So it's our enhanced round guide. So it has our, um, Enhanced, we call it HDE for Hyperdrive Extreme. It's a different about the Hyperdrive Extreme guide system. So it's our enhanced round guide. So it has our um, enhanced, we call it HDE for Hyperdrive Extreme. It's a different guide than our standard U3, U6. And it provides the capability to do jetless threading, which allows us to thread at the wire break point it also enhances the threading uh, capability of uh, small holes. So we can go to even a smaller hole because we're not using the water to thread, we're just using air and uh, no jet, no water jet. Uh, also has an improved annealer on it, again, which enhances the AWT. Energizer plate positions during threading and enhanced lower jet. So all those improvements are there to enhance the threading capability of the machine. So the Hyperdrive Extreme wire guide system uh, is much more efficient at threading. And in addition to that, it also has the Hyperdrive tensioning control system, uh, which is a servo motor controlled tensioning system, uh, which allows us to control the tension of the wire more precisely. So just to show you some differences of what the heads look like right here, um, you can see on the left, we have the UX series upper head and the UX series lower head. Uh, next to the picture of the head, we have a, a picture of the guides. So the guides themselves are different. The heads look similar. If you compare them to the, the uh, pictures on the right for the U series upper head and U series lower head, um, but there are some differences. And Anthony will go through a walk around of the machine and he'll show you what some of those differences are. But you can see the guides are different. So these guides aren't interchangeable. It is a completely different system over the standard U series. So now I want to show you a quick video that's going to show you the jetless threading capability of the Hyperdrive Extreme. So in this video, this is just a test it's a test uh, tube that we use to uh, test the threading capability. You can see it's an interrupted cut because there's a hole, two holes drilled through the tube. And you can see there's no water coming out. It's just using air. The hole that it's going through right there is a, a 15 thou diameter hole with a 10 thou wire. So you can see you can thread through a very, very small hole. So that's the jetless threading capability. So the next feature that is, uh, in terms of technology that's unique to the UX machine, is the heat technology. So this is uh, standard on the UX. 
where you've got two large 2.0 MPA uh, pressure pumps on the machine. The U-series would have it a standard of a 0.75 pump, so this is a much larger pump, uh, which allows us to have more flushing, which is gonna improve our cutting speeds. Same thing as all Makinos, independent pumps uh, for faster reaction to changes in the flushing that plays in the adaptive control. Because we use two pumps instead of one, uh, you do get a, you know, double the horsepower or more flushing, which is gonna provide a faster machining and greater precision and also uh, less wire breaks. Um, in addition to that, the adaptive control will automatically adjust parameters uh, based on the flushing conditions. So it's a constant feedback in the flushing system and it will adapt uh, as it senses changes in flushing. And so on this video, you can see the, the flushing there is very uh, high flushing, a lot of pressure coming out. So that pressure and improved flushing, what does that do for us? We've got high volume flow because of that. That equates to higher power. That means we can put more power to the wire because we're flushing the gap better, which means we're removing the debris faster, which is gonna allow us to burn faster because if we remove that debris, Quickly, we can put more power to the wire, don't have to worry about wire breaks. All right, uh, there's a couple examples here uh, that I have to talk about the heat technology. You'll he hear people talk about heat technology and the first thing they'll say is it improves cutting in unsealed conditions. That's 100% true. That is where the, the biggest advantage comes in. So this uh, die cast insert on the left you can see here would be a prime example of uh, a unsealed cutting condition, right? Because of the shape of the part. All these tests were done with 10 thou uh, brass wire because that's our baseline. That's what we're gonna use as our baseline. So in the U6, cutting that part took us nine hours and 15 minutes. By using the UX6 in the heat technology, which is our improved flushing capability, the same part took six hours and 17 minutes. So about a 30, percent improvement uh, in the cycle time. But it's not just unsealed machining where this is an advantage. It's also going to be an advantage even if I'm sealed. And the reason for that is I'm still able to get more flushing pressure because I have bigger pumps. So this example on the right, the die plate, um, you've got six hours and 16 minutes on the U6, and that would be a normal sealed off condition where we're using 0.75 MPA. But on the U6, I've got four hours and 58 minutes, so just under five hours using high-speed technology. This was all three-pass machining as well. Um, so it's a 1.2, it could actually go faster than that, but this is real world stuff of what we're trying to create this part and stay within tolerance. So even in the sealed condition, it's about a 20% uh, improvement in cycle time. So heat is a very, very valuable technology that is now standard on the UX machine. So right now, um, let's go out to the machine and Anthony is gonna take you, a, give you a walk around on the machine and kind of point out the highlights of the standard configuration of the UX three machine that's in our showroom here in Auburn Hills. Thanks, Brian. So this is our UX3 series machine. Starting at the top here, we now have our Hyperdrive Extreme wire drive system, which is standard on this machine. With this wire drive system, it comes with a 22 pound spool. We do have a high capacity option, which goes up to 35 pounds. Um, working our way up here, we have our servo driven D shaft roller. With this roller, we can control tensions in more fine increments, which then leads to sharper internal and external corners in our workpiece. Um, working our way down here is our jet system. So with this wire drive system, jetless threading is standard. So we can thread in the kerf or into small holes if needed. Um, as you see too, we have our hardened three-sided work table right here as well as, of course, Makino's um, famous energizer or power contact indexing system. So it's as easy as taking the energizer out, indexing it once, 
putting it back in and you're ready to go. Something that's also unique on this machine is the keyboard and mouse is now standard, which I personally like a lot. Um, now, let's walk over to the side here. Walking over to the side of the machine now. So with this machine, key technology is now standard. So behind this panel, we have our high pressure flush pumps. Over to the left here, we have our filtration system. Four filters is standard on this machine. Now, something that's really nice about these filters is there's a quick disconnect function. So if I wanna change my filters out, I just simply disconnect, pull out my dirty filter, put my clean one back in, connect it back up, and I'm ready to go. Also at the top, we have a purge button. So what this button does is it sends compressed air through our filters to flush all that dirty, mucky water out. So when you do take out and replace your filters, you're not leaving a trail of water through the shop. Now working our way to the back of the machine, nice open layout and design. It's nice for ease of maintenance. See right here, we have a few greasing ports right in reach, as well as our wire bin. Nice thing about this wire bin is it is on wheels, so we can just take this in and out, throw all of our wire in the scrap bin, put the bin back in, and bam, we're ready to roll. Um, working our way back to the front of the machine. So that was the tour of our UX3 series machine. Again, uh, standard on this machine is we can go all the way up to 12 thou wire and all the way down to 3 thou knot wire. Now, back to Brian and the Experience Center. All right, thank you, Anthony. So now that Anthony's gone through the machine and pointed out the highlights, I just want to point out uh, some of the uh, standard specs in comparison of the UX3 and the UX6. So on our UX3 machine, um, it's essentially same, it's going to be the same size as our U-series machines, uh, 14 and a half by 10.6 and 8.6 in the Z. Um, on the UX6, which is going to be our larger machine, uh, basically 25.6 inches in the X, 17.7 in the Y, and 16 and a half in the Z. Um, as Anthony pointed out, both the machines come standard with a three-sided hardened table. Um, Max weight uh, of, of max work weight, workpiece weight on the UX3 is going to be 13, roughly 1,300 pounds, and then 3,300 pounds on the UX6. So these machines can, can handle a really big, heavy part. Uh, and again, the, the pressure capability of the machine with those larger pumps uh, is going to be 1.6 MPA on the UX3 and 1.6 as well on the UX6. And both machines are capable of running three thou diameter wire, as Anthony pointed out. So where does that machine fall in the lineup of Makino machines? And on our product pyramid here, you can see it's gonna be precision machining. It's gonna fall in exactly where the U6 heat was, where we've got a shape accuracy of plus or minus five microns or plus or minus uh, two tenths. Um, so very, very oh, nice machine. So that's the quick overview of the UX machine. Now myself and Anthony are available for any questions that you might have. All right, uh, thanks for doing that walk around for us, Anthony. Appreciate that. Um, I'm available for any questions that uh, anybody may have concerning uh, the UX uh, series wire EDM machines here at Makino. If you have any questions, you can put them in the chat uh, that's located on the right side of your screen there. And there's also a Q&A uh, panel as well. So either either area, um, you could type in a question if you have any. Okay, while we're waiting, if, if anyone has a question, I want to point out uh, in, you know, encourage you to go to IMTS uh, 2024, uh, which will start September 9th and run through September 14th at McCormick Place in Chicago. Uh, Makino will be there um, in the South Building on Level 3. Uh, booth number is uh, 338519. Um, you can go to AMT website and uh, 
get a complete map and the layout of the IMTS show um, to give you an idea of what uh, we will be showing in terms of EDM there. Um, we will have three different EDMs um, on display. So we will have machines uh, at the show. We will have the UX3, which you just saw uh, today in this uh, presentation. Um, but it'll be a little extra added to it. We're also going to have a, a FANUC uh, cobot um, connected to the machine uh, and uh, changing parts in and out uh, so you can see how a cell uh, will work you know, for wiring the end, an automation cell. So we're very excited about that. We'll also have our BX3 um, EDM machine. Uh, which is designed for aerospace industry primarily. Um, it's for drilling holes and diffuser shapes in blade and veins is the primary design of the machine. It's a very impressive machine. Again, it lends itself to automation very well. I'll come by and check that out as well. We're also gonna have an EDAF3 sinker EDM. And on that particular machine, we will have a tilt rotary table um, and also a rent -a show Renishaw probe system um, where we can actually uh, probe the part and compensate for the part positioning uh, in, on a six axis plane. So I'll come by and see that as well. Okay, well, if no one has any questions today, no problem. Come see us at IMTS and you can ask us any question that you may have concerning EDM. And thank you for taking uh, time out of your day today to spend with us and hope to see you at IMTS. Thanks.